Alright guys, I'm going to do a small tutorial on how to light a scene that you download from Sketchfab. I think this is pretty easy, I'm not exactly sure why you insist on this, but I will do it then. Uh, well, this is just a scene that was imported into the project, it's a new project. Uh, first select the scene and then go to import. Make sure this like baking field and meshes is to enable. This means that when meshes are imported they will be set for like baking. This saves some time, otherwise you have to click each one of them to, to set this. So just re-import with this setting on. And then we can open the scene. Remember, the, the nice thing is using inherited scenes, so you can add stuff to them and then keep them like intact when you re-import them, in case, in case they change. Uh, here the scene appears to be a bit far away from the origin, so I will move it here. Okay, now uh, this is just the scene, you see it doesn't have any kind of lighting. First thing that I will do is add a directional light. And I will set shadowing turned on for it. And I will rotate it. So it's more visible, where is the light, gizmo. Oh, here it is. Okay, let's. Okay, this kind of uh, works, I guess. As you can see, this is just uh, like direct light and a constant ambient. It doesn't look very good. So the trick here is to use uh, GA Pro. GA Pro is very simple to use, just in scans it. switching to orthogonal view so it's easier to to adjust the probe and the important thing is just covering all the area that's going to be illuminated and that should be okay right yeah it seems like it okay so this is the scene as we have it I'm going to increase probably the light so we are later. Uh, first, let's bake. This post process or more like pre process is needed for for doing the lighting in real time later. Okay, whoop. There we have it. Global illumination with just one click. Uh, I will add one nice thing you can do is the indirect energy, like you can raise it a bit so it just propagates a bit more. And that's pretty much it. You have here the the scene with global illumination. So let's add a bit more post processing the war environment. Yeah. Uh, we can create, for example, a sky and go G probes like can get the light from inside the sky. Like it, it blends with the skylight too. Uh, this makes it a bit more like outdoors or more like it makes sense that light is entering through the windows from the sky with the sky color uh, Mean color fog we don't need fog tone map you can choose another tone map or you want it's Filmic is the most common uh, don't want auto exposure Don't really need screen space reflections. I think we could have them, but uh, I don't think it's really worth in this scene uh, ambient occlusion, yeah, that adds a bit. You, you know the outlines around the, the objects, and it helps a bit it to improve the GA Pro effect. Uh, we can have a glow. I like the higher glow levels because they are like spread around the, the scene. Screen mode, uh, it's better. Additive, it's too much. You know, that screen usually is okay. You can adjust the intensity and. Um, this makes it more roundy, and that's it. Uh, finally, you have here the scene with global illumination. It wasn't very complicated. Uh, I, I said that I was doing this test while cooking rice. You can see why. It's really very simple and very quick. So, well, that's it. I hope you liked it.